Okay, now in this talk, we're going to move on from uh, how pollen can be dispersed or distributed, moved from the andresia to the gynesia of flowers. Uh, fruit are how the seeds, once they are formed, get dispersed as well. So there's a whole set of uh, different tactics that different flowering plants, species of flowering plants, may employ in order to get their fruit distributed. Uh, so when we think of fruit, we typically think of a display like this with apples and bananas and grapefruit and uh, strawberries and just, you know, all of these things that you find at the front of your grocery store that are sweet tasting. But that's uh, only one facet of the, the ways that fruit can be used to distribute seeds. So a fruit to a botanist is the container for the ripened seeds. So once the seeds are formed with the embryonic plants inside, uh, the job of the fruit is to figure out a way to get those seeds away from the mother sporophyte, to go and find a new place uh, where those seeds can find a purchase and grow into new sporophytes. Uh, so the fruit develops from the ovary wall, or if it's not developed from the ovary wall, it's developed from what we call accessory tissue. Uh, and while we normally think of fruits as being fleshy, they can also be dry. Now, with the pollination syndromes, those all ended in philly. With fruit dispersal syndromes, they all end in cori. And cori comes to us from a Greek word that means moving. Uh, you've probably heard of choreography, which is how dance uh, is the planning of dances. Uh, so I like to think of cori as uh, dancing, the dance of the fruits. So zoochori is animal dispersal in general. Uh, most of the fruits, the fleshy fruits, we think of as uh, being dispersed by an animal eating the fruit and then excreting the cell the seeds somewhere else. So that would be endozoochery. Uh, but there are also a number of plants that can engage in ectozoochery, or the fruits are dispersed on the outside of an animal. And I'll show you how in a minute. Uh, ornithochery is dispersal by birds. Hydrochory is dispersal by water. Uh, anemochory is dispersal by wind. And myrmecochory is dispersal by ants. And what you can see in this image here uh, is an ant that is uh, dispersing an acacia seed. So ectozoochery, uh, we typically think of those seeds uh, as being hitchhikers. So if you're out in the woods and you find that there's a bunch of uh, things sticking to your socks and you pick them off, uh, you have successfully uh, fallen into the, the plant's little plan to uh, move those seeds around. Uh, what's in this picture here is a plant called burdock, and you can see where the, the burr part of that comes from. Um, these are really uh, effective at sticking to the fur of animals, or your shoelaces, or your socks if you're a hiker, and getting uh, taken far away from the mother plant and deposited somewhere else. And then uh, those fruits have the seeds inside, the seeds will germinate, and voila, dispersal achieved. Uh, Anemochory is wind dispersal, and just like wind pollination, uh, you have uh, structures that uh, can catch the wind. Uh, the strategy is a little bit different, well, while uh, anemophily is uh, achieved by producing just lots and lots of pollen. Uh, <clears throat> with the fruits, the strategy is a little bit different. Uh, because the seeds are uh, sort of a high value, high uh, resource intensive uh, structure, plants don't necessarily produce lots and lots and lots of fruits, but they do try and make the wind, uh, give the wind an advantage by placing a wing on them. So many uh, wind dispersed fruits, fruits are uh, in this dry fruit form that's called a samara. And here you can see um, 
an ash with a one-winged Samara, or maples that are double Samaras. Or the third picture you can see there is uh, an African genus called Cumbretum, which has a three-winged uh, fruit to it. Hydrocory is not uh, the most typical type of dispersal, but it's been very effective for a very familiar uh, species uh, for coconuts. Coconuts are uh, a very strange kind of fruit indeed, uh, in that the, they have this outer uh, husk, and then inside of that you've got this very fibrous layer, and then the seed that's inside, which is uh, the thing that has the three holes on it, uh, that's actually the seed, uh, or it's actually the, um, the endocarp, which uh, has the, the new embryonic plant inside. And these coconuts can float on the ocean for many, many miles to go from one island to another. They can land on a beach and colonize a whole new island in this way. Endozoochory is when fruits are eaten by animals and then they fly or crawl or hike or uh, scamper to somewhere else. Uh, the fruits pass through the gut. Uh, the fruit might be digested, but the seeds may come out and germinate uh, in a suitable location that's far away from the mother sporophyte. Uh, so endozoochory is a very effective tactic. So many fruits that are dispersed by endozoochory tend to be fleshy. Uh, in the case of squirrels, you know how much squirrels love nuts. So there's a squirrel with its, its nut there.